Hey, hello, and welcome to Michael's Minty Music for today. Today we review Talking Heads' final album, 1988's Naked. It's good, uh, an alright one to end on, but nothing super special, I would say. This is the track listing, and these are the tracks I added to my playlist. 5 out of 11, so just one under half. This album is still good, but it's pretty close to being kind of just alright. There's still a clear cre creativity there with the sounds and the styles, but for most of the songs, it doesn't come out particularly well. With the wha When the wackiness works, it works pretty well, but it doesn't work very consistently on this album. Additionally, there's not really any flow going on here. It's more of a straight line of mid-speed tracks. Nothing to really amp up or slow down the speed super, like really slow it down. Cool Water is a decent ending track, and the last three songs kind of managed to slow it down to the end, but it's not particularly well executed, so nothing really great there. The style here is also just kind of too much by-the-book pop. The individual sounds used are sometimes funky, but the overall genre and style of each song is just not out there enough to be interesting. It feels like this album could have been a lot better if they had just taken a lot more risks with the whole thing instead of just limiting the risks to more individual tracks. So overall, okay, some good songs here that work well, but most of them are just kind of not that interesting. There were no singles released before the album, and my favorite song here is, gotta go with the second track, Mr. Jones, although it's pretty close between that one, Nothing But Flowers, and Cool Water. Those are the probably the best tracks here. Mr. Jones, I would say, is the most interesting. Nothing But Flowers is the most sort of traditional. And Cool Water is, as I said, a pretty good ending track. Even on its own, it's still pretty decent. So. I rank this album 6th out of Talking Heads 8 albums, so 3rd from the bottom here. I feel this album is just a worse version of their previous album, True Stories, which at least had some bigger hit tracks and a little bit of a better overall flow. It's still a higher level of quality than their first two albums, but Naked is just not interesting enough to compete with most of their main catalog. This also completes my ranking of Talking Heads albums. Um, so as you can see here, I've basically settled on four pairs, kind of. The first two being their worst, their last two being the second worst, and then the four in the middle I think are their best, with uh, 1983 and 1985 beating out 1979 and 1980 in the rankings. Additionally, this album, uh, Naked, takes my top spot from 1988, taking it, taking it away from Guns N' Roses' second album, GNR Lies, which is alright but not outstanding. I definitely like the more experimental pop rock new wave stuff of Talking Heads more than the more consistent rock sound of Guns N' Roses, sort of in general. And GNR Lies is probably one of their worst albums, so Naked takes it here. Next up is the Half-Life 2 soundtrack, released simultaneously with the game Half-Life 2 in 2004. I've done some video game soundtracks before, so it'll be kind of similar. I don't really change a lot for the video game soundtracks, but they do tend to have more tracks, so they're kind of a different thing. So Stay tuned for what artist I'll start listening to next, and as always, stay minty.